Hi Australia, Mira Bartok here. I'd like to introduce you to the world of the Wonderling. The idea of the Wonderling began um, a couple years ago, actually three years ago, um, out of the blue um, from a sketch I did of a one-eared rabbit <laughs> who ended up turning into a fox. My philosophy is sometimes a thing that is the best possible idea is right in front of your face. And I turned and I looked at my dog who is sleeping, who has giant kind of fox ears. She looks like a, a black, little black fox. And, and I just knew it. I had to kind of model Arthur, the Wonderling on Sadie, my dog. I think my first impetus to do this book was to create really a very Dickensian novel. And, and I imagined it to be very, um, in some ways, very realistic. I think my favorite books that have fantasy elements are books where maybe one rule is changed. So more in the line of speculative fiction. There's a normal world, in this case a kind of Victorian pseudo-England, pseudo-UK, where some of the characters happen to be part animal. <laughs> but then as I slowly progressed in the book, I realized that there should be some magic. I have always loved folk tales and fairy tales where the little guy, it's the littlest of creatures, the littlest of people, save the day. I always knew that, that this very, very shy little creature who looks different even from the different looking groundlings has this rich inner life and this ability inside him to do great. But he's a reluctant hero, and I think some of the best heroes or heroines are reluctant. There's some of that in Arthur. You know, he's not stupid. He has this world inside him, but you just don't know it. And I knew that he had a gift, and I wanted that to kind of grow into more of a magical gift. Music is a huge part of the story. You know, I had a brain injury. 1999 and before that I was playing in like five different music groups and singing in a large choir and and then that just stopped everything stopped so I think it's my way of reclaiming it a little bit even though I'm an, a visual artist and I write I think there's in the hierarchy of arts it crosses all boundaries it crosses all cultures it's it's something that anyone can enjoy Language is so important to me, and I write out loud. I can't write in a room with other people. I write out loud, and when I write, I am, I am holding, I'm actually holding in my mind a 16 millimeter camera, like I did when I was young, and I, I'm moving through space, and I'm seeing it as a, as a film. I think the most important thing is I, I I want the reader to have compassion as much as possible for even the most horrible characters. I think really reading a, a really good book is, is a lot like falling in love. So I guess I want them to fall in love with my little guys and my little characters. And I'm always hoping that, that whatever I write creates room for empathy within someone. And I also want them to have a really good time reading it. 